Hello and welcome back to another Moop City video and today is going to be part two of making a tiny, a cute tiny house in Moop City. So the last part, my first part, I made this nice and cheerful bedroom and today I'm going to work on, oh Chloe you're distracting me, <laughs> today I'm going to work on always my favorite room to work on the kitchen i love the kitchen i'm really excited about the kitchen today uh this whole house in general i think really started from the kitchen and also just wanting to make a new house because yeah i love doing the little decorating series definitely have missed making these videos i always pre-make the rooms and then take them down and then remake them in the video just so i have an idea what i'm doing and i kind of wish i would have left the counters up i regret taking the counters down <laughs> I am not gonna lie. Now I noticed this window is off center, I think, but it, I might have done that because of the counters. But yeah, let's get the counters down first. Yeah, there's something that I've never done before that I thought was really cute. And so yeah, I was so excited. I'm still excited about it uh, to show you. I'll try to do it like after I do these counters here, but I just wanted to get these over and done with. Did I maybe need to put you in first? Oh, there we are. Go a little closer to the wall. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna take that out take this one out see this is why this is why i should have left them in this is exactly why i should have left them in okay so i always love having the kitchen sink in front of the window so the thing that i am excited about so one day i was just upstairs and randomly thought of this so i was away from my computer like i wasn't even playing meep city and i just thought of this and thought i why have i never done this before why have i never tried this before and i tried it a few different ways and i end up doing it this way and decided this was the best way, but putting a shelf in front of the window. We'll put some plants on it because I do want this house, probably like every house I do, to have lots and lots of plants. And we'll do a little sprouting plants. I hope that Meep City adds new furniture one day again. I would absolutely love that, like love that so, so much. And we will do a lavender plant see isn't that cute why did i never think of that before i absolutely love that i'm gonna put a plant here they're right here because i think i had to go to the store and buy more here you go chloe i'm gonna put your food and water dish here oh look at she's so happy she was so thirsty she's like it's about time stove and i will just keep the stove white then i will put this here what way is the right way there you are Okay, so I have that and then I don't want to forget about it. I know when I build houses in The Sims, the thing I forget the most is a garbage can. And in The Sims, if you're actually playing like you're playing the game, you need a garbage can, like you actually need a garbage can. So yeah, I always forget that I'll upload a house on the gallery with no garbage can in it. Okay, so I also want to put some shelves over here. This one could just be a little closer, I guess. It doesn't have to be 100% and I will put decorations on there. Okay, I didn't put books on both sides though because I'm going to do what I've done before and use the shelf for blenders and stuff. And look at that, there is a blender right there. So I'll do that right now. And I want that blender to be white and a juicer. Yeah, this is just a, of course, handy if you don't have a lot of room for uh, appliances, small appliances, you could put them up on a shelf. Where is, I can't see where the little button is. <laughs> Why am I not seeing the button? Is there, oh, maybe there is no button on it, I guess. Okay, never mind. I'm just going to walk away from that. Paper towel. Though personally, I try to use cloth, not paper towel, but for decoration wise. Okay, so yeah, so there's just some appliances and paper towel up on this shelf for extra space. Pots and pans above the stove. Oh, this is coming together. This is coming together. And of course, always fruit bowl. Absolutely love having the fruit bowl in my kitchen. Do I want to keep it that color? I don't think I want it to be blue. I almost do want it to be that lighter blue color. I wish that lighter blue color was in more items actually. And oh, I guess I want a plant up there. And I'm just gonna put a plain coffee machine in this house over here and I'd like a toaster. Oh, and a cutting board. Definitely, definitely want a cutting board. And maybe just for a little added decoration. Lavender, I'm gonna add, do I have any lavender plants? 
<gasps> am I out? Oh no, here we're gonna, here we go. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I have more lavender plants. Just to put like a little lavender plant right there by the window. Or is that too much? I don't know, I'll keep it there. I think that's cute. Yeah, and then I have a little space if I ever need to put a pizza down or something, right? Because if you bake something like brownies, you have to put it down somewhere. So you do need a little space, I believe. And yeah, I think, whoa, I think the kitchen is pretty much done. Oh, I know what I'm missing is lighting. One right here and blue and one over here in the kitchen, blue like that. One more lamp right here. I'd say this part over here is done, but the last little thing is a little dining room table and I'm going to use the small dining room table um, I remember when I made my hotel, one of my favorite like areas was the little staff. Like, actually, I don't know. I made so many rooms in there, so I can't remember my absolute favorite. Oh, I love the spa in the hotel. That was a really great part. But I loved I made a little staff room, and it kind of looked like it was an apartment. Uh, and yeah, I remember I used this tiny table, and I loved it. I don't know. I'm just having flashbacks to that, but it's random. I'm going to use a small table and two of the dining room table chairs wooden dining room chair and I think I'm just gonna leave it this color I think could you be a tad closer I guess like what are the options no definitely not definitely not no definitely this one <laughs> absolutely that one and one more plant do I want the lavender oh, I just realized that I put actually you know what I want the lavender on this table and I might switch this plant so I don't have like a whole bunch of lavenders with the sprout one. Yes, perfect, absolutely perfect. Okay, so is my kitchen done? I think it is. There's not a lot going on. Definitely my favorite part is this. This was a part that I was most excited about was this little window thing. Love that, cause yeah, it just adds a lot and it's a perfect little spot then to put Chloe's food dish and water. And yeah, and this is a little perfect spot for a table. It's just a small little kitchen cause it is a tiny house. And so the next part will be the living room and I'll either incorporate doing the bathroom in that part or do it off camera. But yes, the house is coming along. I cannot, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not doing good there. I can't wait to finish it. And then I can role play in the house, hopefully. That's what my plan is, because I just wanted a new little house to role play in. But yeah, here is a kitchen, always my favorite room. Uh, yeah, I think that I am going to end this video here. I hope that you enjoyed and have yourself a great day. Bye.